Okay, my YouTubers, I know it's been a minute, so I'm going to take you around and show you something that I did mistakenly. Um, we all know that neem oil is natural and it's good for insecticide and all that good stuff. So I've been having a problem with these bugs. And let me see if I can find one. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Yep. These little boogers. Let's see if you can see it. Right there. Some kind of beetle, I think. And usually when I see them, they're having sex and re-procreating many, many more babies. So if you look at this tree, you can see they have totally, totally just eaten up my leaves. And this is one of the ones they've hit the least. But this baby here, y'all know that was my pride and joy, peach tree. Look up there. I have no leaves up there. Uh, it's just a mess. And they are all down here. Thankfully, the peaches are still holding on. But what I did, I came out here, and I'm not going to blame this all on the beetles. They were eating the leaves. But I came out here with my 100% undiluted neem oil and just sprayed them like crazy. So the next day I come out and find this. Yes, y'all, my feelings is hurt. You know they're hurt. But at least I still have peaches. And I think... Uh, I think this tree will give me some more leaves before the summer is over with and kind of heal itself back up. I did come back out with the water hose and spray it down real good after I got over my little feelings being hurt. But this one here, it had, so you can't even see it looks like a stick. It was pretty full as well. And it had one really nice sized peach on it. Um, I guess it couldn't handle all the spray that I did. And so the peach has fallen off of it. But look at all those leaves that fell off the tree. I did that, y'all. Don't overuse your insecticides, pesticides, whatever they are. Even though they say natural, still uh, dilute it down. Here's one of those critters again. Next year I'm going to be ready for them. I don't know what they are, but I'll figure it out. And, um have something for them they don't mess with my persimmon tree too much thankfully but I sprayed it too and it didn't have the same effect that the peach trees did not sure why but I'm glad it didn't but look at that persimmon y'all it's getting bigger and then my only other one is uh, right there so hopefully they'll stay on there till the end This little tree here that my husband planted too far down into the ground still has not broken dormancy yet. That is my Bing cherry. And hopefully by next year, maybe it will. Okay, here's my other peach tree, y'all. Same thing. Leaves are all gone. But look at those peaches. Aren't they nice? Now, you know, I really would have been crying if I came out here and all my peaches were on the ground. So, whatever the neem oil did, it has not affected the peach growth as yet, I don't think. Oh, look at that. One's falling off the tree and something was over here eating it through the net. So glad I got it covered up because those babies would be gone, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna pause for just a minute so I can show you something else. Okay, you see all these little flowers here. Not sure what they are. Always thought they were a weed. And they were usually the first thing that I whacked down. And they're also over here. But now, since I have bees, I'm just kind of letting everything go. And let the bees do their thing. This is all my mints. I have spearmint, uh, spearmint, peppermint, and chocolate mint in there and then um, a little lilies here are coming up those definitely were planned 
and then over here again I'm just letting all this area go do what it do and this is going to be my B area and I just ordered because I heard that uh, certain plants produce certain types of honey and I like the more light colored honey and so I ordered 5,000 seeds of uh, Annie's hyssop so that I can get my light colored honey and it also supposed to have a little taste of mint to it and then I also ordered 500 uh, cat mint seeds and it's not the same as catnip but it's called cat mint okay over here to my peach tree that was not a peach tree that turned into a huh, nectarine tree it held up fairly well to my sprain and I only think that's because I was almost out when I got over here to spray this but as you can see my nectarines are still on there uh, this morning somehow a bird got underneath of my net but I don't think he did any damage hubby got him out before he could do any damage okay I'm going to show you oh two more things hold on so to my understanding bees love lemongrass so I have planted lemongrass all around the little area where they're at um, I bought 50 plants actually here y'all is my dual oh lord Meyer lemon and kiwi lime tree and I had it in the backyard and it was dropping flowers like crazy if you see there so what I did I brought it around the front and set it right beside my beehive now look at this haha -ha. what you guys say about that I love me some bees already and here's their little water pail over here bees are doing well um, I went to deep deep country y'all and found this bear and his hat was a different color and his little barrel and things was different color so I repainted it to match my hive and you can see down there the bees are coming and going and I have graduated y'all to only wearing my hat because that suit is so darn hot um, so I only wear my hat when I'm out here by myself um, when husband comes with me even though he's fully suited up even down to boots and pants he still tends to be a little afraid of the bees so when I'm with him I make sure I'm totally suited up because I'm expecting him to take off running at any minute or to do something that's going to upset those bees and I don't want to be a victim of his carelessness I have opened the hive this Wednesday will be two weeks since I got the bees and so the hive has been open I think twice I'm trying to make it a habit to check it every Wednesday just because that's a good day for me um, it has the bottom is full of brood she's also making new babies as of last Wednesday um, actually the bottom um, Lord have mercy the bottom super is almost totally totally full with the exception of one and a half frames so I went ahead and put that second um, box on top and when I checked there was a few bees up there they were actually um, pulling out the comb or not the comb Lord have mercy it's early y'all they were oh uh, anyway you know what I'm talking about the first thing they do with the comb when they pull those building up the uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy Ooh, building up the uh, frame that I have in there so I will check them Wednesday and if I get my camera that I can wear on my head I will video when I open it up again because it's just too hard to video 
and hold the camera and all that good I mean good stuff when I have video blah, 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 blah. okay we're gonna redo that it's too hard for me to hold my phone to videotape while I'm messing with the bees so if I make the time to go get this camera that I saw that you just kind of strap on you somewhere like the bicycle riders wear when they're doing marathons and that kind of thing I will be recording live the inside of this hive on Wednesday now one last thing to show you I probably should wait to make sure but I'm gonna show you anyway okay if you guys remember um, my last video I did on the Orinoco banana I said it had died and all of my calla lilies were coming in and I love them to death they're beautiful but yesterday when I was out here fooling around look what I saw I'm trying to come up so that big mass right there was my huge huge three-year-old um, Orinoco banana and so it looks like it has a will to live y'all so I have an Orinoco banana once again ha! super excited anyway guys thanks for watching and as always I appreciate you and hopefully I will see you back on Wednesday with a live video of the bees. I'm out. <laughs>